Hi everybody, it's Monday, March 8th, and I'm here with Sherry from A Girl in the Universe, and I'm so excited. We are going to talk today about Schumann resonance and all kinds of fun stuff. Sherry, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm thrilled to be here. Most people know me by essay, but my friends call me Sherry, so that's fine. I did some like just internet digging. That's how I found your name. <laughs> Not very exciting, right? I mean, it's all a girl in the universe stuff. But you know, I love doing this. This is what I do. And I, I work with clients all day long, every day doing this, helping people with ascension. And it's, I'm so blessed to be able to do this. I love this. I'm yes. And like I was saying before we started recording, your your feed has helped me so much because I'm not a person who can like just interpret that data very easily. My brain doesn't do it right. So whenever I see your posts, I literally share every single one to everybody because I'm like, this is this is why we feel this way. There's like there's something happening. It is connected and they're so helpful. Very much. I'm glad you find them helpful. And um, that's exactly why I started doing it because a few years ago, I started getting these ascension symptoms and I was feeling off and I knew there was a reason. And then I started realizing the Schumann correlated completely with how I was feeling. So when the Schumann was freaking out, I knew I was, so I could go, if I had that headache, you know, that head pressure that comes in so heavily, I'd go and look at the Schumann. I'm like, it's doing something. And so am I, it's basically a blueprint. It was until last August. Last August, they really neutered it, turned it down. And we had some interesting things happen just a couple of days ago too, that I'd like to share with you guys, yeah. um, where we were flashing like crazy. And then it came, it went down for 10 plus hours, came back up and now it's just quiet until this exact moment. Now it's freaking out again. We're spiking all over the place. So before we get into all the good, interesting stuff, just for people who are not really familiar with the Schumann resonance, what is that in layman's terms? It is really cool. The Schumann basically um, is a recording from around the earth. They take these, like, think of it as like a cylinder and they put them down in the earth and they get the heartbeat of Gaia, basically. When we have all kinds of um, electrical storms, all that energy goes down into the earth and it bounces around in the caverns, you know, underneath us. Whoa. They they go in then and record that electrical impulses. And that's what it is. And it's taken all over the world. Then they put all that data together into one area, one computer system and average that. That's why I'm always like, look at those straight lines across the bottom. To get a straight line on the Schumann across the bottom with an average from around the world repeatedly over and over again, that's like odds that you need to go to Vegas to get that kind of data because it's not going to repeat like that. Right. So if it is, we know that's not organic. We know something's happening there. And something's causing that. Like, like who's in charge of it? Um, scientists from all over the world. We're, it's a group effort because, it, you know, the world is ours. Gaia belongs to all of us. So all of the different countries work together. But the main recording is done in Russia, you know, the main system. That's why I like the Russian link so much better than anywhere else. That Russian link works like 99% of the time. Wow. Okay. And so what I have noticed, and your posts have helped illuminate this, is basically um, when the Schumann has a spike, right? It literally affects our bodies and energetic field because as much as we've tried to believe we're not connected to all systems on earth, we are very much connected to it. And so as a spike happens, we feel that in a physical way. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. The brain waves that we have, the theta waves are the same as the standard Schumann resonance. So when it's up in that 7.83 range, you're happy, your brain's used to it. They even pump that into the space station because that's what keeps people from not going crazy in space. The miners, they used to put it down with the miners too, because even though they're below ground, you would think that they, it would be with them, it's not. So they put that in so people don't go crazy because it's what our bodies need. So as this is rising, it's much like the full moon, you know, in the full moon, people act or have the ability to go crazier. Same thing with Schumann. So if you're easily pushed, 
and the Schumann's going higher, you're going to feel yourself more pushed, unfortunately. But we're getting used to this. We're balancing out much higher now, which is so interesting because our balance is going so much higher than it used to be because we used to be here at this point, and now it's all over the place. A lot of people are thinking the Schumann is actually registering the different dimensions now. You know, the three and the four and the five, and that's it's going to fill out as we get to like the 5D area. People are thinking that it'll just be solid white all the time, which is why we're wondering if they neutered it last August so that we can't see it quite all the time now because it's important. So, and so, like, what would be the purpose of not allowing us to see that? Because people, the same reason when they uh, released the UFOs were real, they didn't go and start screaming UFOs are real. They released like one little article here and there. So people don't freak out. You know, they, they don't realize that we understand what's going on and we're accepting of this information because a lot of people in the 3D realm might not be. Yeah, absolutely. So it might be more of a protection kind of thing. I, I have no idea. It's just, it's just so interesting. So, so basically from what you're saying, it's almost like we were at that seven, what was it 7.83 was our set point before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are having new set points, right? Yes. We're, we're finding a new balance definitely all the time. You'll find that it's much more like at the 16 now. Ooh, that's a lot higher. It is. Well, I have some stuff to share with you. Yeah, yeah, Let me yeah. just show you what I mean here. This is a really good one because this shows you how to really read it. The 7.83 is our fundamental line. That's where we normally go right there. But as you can see with these green lines, where it's at 14.83 easily in those places. And a lot of times we're all the way up to 20, you know, regularly. This is a standard thing. So it's not unusual for us to have a much higher one. And let me show you this. This is happening right now. This is the Schumann. This is when this big black spot is when it went down the other day. This is the Russian site. So it's in UTC time, which is universal time code plus seven because it's in Russia. So it's actually 12 hours ahead of Eastern Standard Time, which I love because it makes it so easy to read. Mm. But you'll see over here where it was all the white and these lines that are going across. Yeah. That line at right after 32, you're feeling that, that white line there. That, and you see how it's green all the way down to plus 24? Yeah. That's a balance, that's, that's solid. You're, you're in that zone when we're getting that. That's why there's so many different ascension symptoms. If you're used to it and you've found your balance, those ascension symptoms won't be as strong. If you're new to this, you're going to feel it more. So it's all about finding that balance within you. And that happens naturally. But you'll notice on the left side of the screen here under the, where it says March 3rd, mm -hmm. before it went black, you see how white that is and how, how active it was. And then it died. Yeah. And you can see there's like a little white thread coming up there where it was going to go all white. And then it went down. It went down for like 13 hours. And then when it came back up. It was just nothing. You see how dark blue that is? Yeah. Um, that's very odd. It's, it again, I thought they've turned it down. But notice, notice the, um, how concentrated the colors are, how you can see all these white lines through it. That wasn't like that before last August. Before last August, all the colors blended. It's like they turned the contrast down so it would take more to make it spike. And I think that's what we're seeing like right now it's spiking. And I think we're seeing that again with the Schumann. Wow. So I have some people asking when you say they are neutering it and, and altering it, who is they? The scientists. The scientists. Um, I'm sure it's not the scientists themselves. It's whoever runs it is turning it down. Oh, I should also say it could be just a tool flaw. It could also be a new program that they're running that's just not showing everything that it used to. We have this thing called the magnetosphere that goes hand in hand with the Schumann. So when the energies come in, we can watch them roll in in our magnetosphere. 
used to be we'd watch them roll in, human would react, magnetosphere, they're the same thing. Yeah. Now, after that August, Schumann, the magnetosphere rolls in, Schumann doesn't react anymore. Just like it was showing um, the last day or so, it was totally quiet. We were under huge energies. A strange new pulsing energies just started um, a day ago. And it's really unusual. I've never seen this before. It doesn't roll in like normal energies organically roll in. This is a pulsing just like this, Ooh. like a strobe light all around us. I've never seen this before, but it's causing all different energies. And we're all feeling it like the, over the weekend, if you felt off, tired, strange emotions, a lot of emotions with this, like old stuff coming up, stuff we hadn't had to deal with. Um, a lot of it making us question ourselves too. A lot of that. That's the pulsating energies. Ooh, wow. This is this is yeah. so fascinating to connect all of these things because what I've been finding, which just blows my mind, because I am like the non-science person in the universe over here. And I'm finding that, you know, I'll get information come through and then I'll see your thing or somebody else. And it's like it's confirming it. And I see so many of us on the same wavelength tapping in from all different directions, but the same message coming through, like the emotions, like even as a person who like, I'm sure you feel this too sometimes, like I do this for a living, I'm in this every single day. And there have been days where I'm like, I can't even get out of bed. I don't know what is going on, but I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, over the weekend was really tough because I'm not like that normally. And I felt it and I was, I had to like step away from me to see what it was because you know i'm big on everybody should wrap their energy as we're evolving you really need to keep your energy wrapped because you're tapping into things you're not used to tapping into you're learning things you're not used to doing it it's like we're toddlers out there on a freeway Ooh. and you need to keep your energy wrapped so a lot of that i feel is that but over the weekend it was a whole different game completely different game and yeah you're right it's so fun to watch everybody come in with the same stuff I've noticed that with dates. Have you noticed that with like dates? Like we'll all get this date and I don't follow anyone else because I want to be true to my stuff. Absolutely. So I'm very careful with that. But afterwards, I'm always surprised to see everybody pulled the same days. Yes, it's that I'm really careful too. So like I won't even pull, I won't look at anything until I've done my thing and then I'll go back and I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Uh, but um, when you said, and I, because Rachel's asking this, and I was thinking when, when you said it too, when you said something happened in August, do you remember, was it around the Lionsgate portal 8-8? No, it was at the end of the month. But yeah, August 8-8 was crazy. Was crazy. Yeah, crazy. so much energy. And yeah, so we had that huge <laughs> month in August. Yeah. This was insane. And yeah. also, when you, um, when you said wrap your energy, what do you mean by that? I call it wrapping. That's a weird thing. I call it, you know, most people just bring in source light around themselves to okay. wrap their, I call it wrapping. So yeah, it's really important right now because a lot of people are feeling very anxious and a lot of depression. It's really just their powers coming in and they're tapping into the 3d realm and it feels like their own energy and it's not. So once you wrap, I do this with my clients all day long. If you come see me, I'm going to wrap you in energy before you leave. And they're like, oh my gosh, I feel so different. Yeah, because you only feel you. Yeah. You're so much more powerful than you realize. You know, people just don't realize yet. And we're and we're coming online so fast that it's like there's not even there's not even a little like bit of a ramp that you can just take take a few years to get used to it. It's like no, no do it right now, this weekend on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're learning today, and by next week, you're gonna be completely different. Yes. It's, it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> It's so crazy. And like, I wonder um, sometimes uh, about awareness, right? Because, you know, I'm sure we all have people, I know I have people in my life who don't believe in anything. Um, and I wonder how much your awareness of these things correlates to the depth of your experience in them. I think it has a lot to do with it, but I also know a lot of people that have no idea what's going on and they come to me and I'll be like, these are relatives and family. They'll be like, oh my gosh, the headache that came in, or I haven't slept in two days. I'm like energies. And they're like, oh, 
Thanks. Yeah, you always say that. Yeah, but it correlates exactly with it. I mean, they're feeling it. They just don't understand why or don't want to understand why. It's very interesting, though. Yeah. They're still doing it. They're going through it. So everybody's being affected, but our the stories are different. Exactly, exactly. Everybody's got their unique path and they're on it uniquely to them, exactly as they should be, exactly where you should be. You know, no one, there's no hierarchy. There's no, they're ahead or behind. You're exactly where you're supposed to be doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. And that's so important because I think when you use words like ascension and even start talking about third dimension, fourth dimension, fifth dimension, there's such a, a, there's such a lean towards making that like a hierarchy that if you're you're interacting with fifth dimensional energies, you're like way more evolved than everybody else or ascension means you're lifting yourself above the other people. And that's not what it is. No, we're a collective. We're all one. If we help each other, you're helping yourself. So it's really important that you realize we're all rising together. Some people might've started earlier, but we're all catching up. And you're probably seeing that in your practice. I have people that I work with that have been doing this for 20 years, but I have people that just started and they're ahead of everyone. Yes. So it's like crazy. Yeah. It's And I think it's very destabilizing for the spiritual practitioner who's been doing this for a long time, because, you know, there is the, there is that guru mentality that's been prevalent in the communities. And, you know, if you've been doing something for 20 years and you're like, this is where I'm at. And then all of a sudden, like people around you are coming online and they're right there with you. You're like, wait, is that even a thing? But it's like, you have to just get over that because it is a thing. It's yeah. If you're feeling that that's ego, that's, yeah, exactly. that's not good because we're all one. I love when people come in and they, and I always tell them, you know, next time I see you, I'll probably have to do an energetic exchange because you'll be higher than I am. And I'll be learning from you. And that's the beauty of it. We're all learning from each other. Yeah. And like not feeling and like kind of, kind of disentangling ourselves from that feeling that if like somebody else is, is getting this information, it somehow takes away from us. Like it, it, yeah. it's, such, it's a, it's a terrible mindset, but it, it's been effective at keeping us down all this time. Because exactly. Can- and that's programming. Yeah. Well, we should welcome everyone up, you know, help everyone up because if you're helping someone else, you're helping yourself too, because we're all one. People don't understand. We're all one, one light, one source, one person, one fragment, all together make one beautiful ball of the collective. So we need to help each other, love each other, just send love to everyone. Really works. Yeah. Stop judging. It's much better. (laughs) Yeah. No judging. No judging is bad. Now you, you were saying that how, like, how long have you been working with the Schumann Resonance? Oh, at least three or four years. Okay. Yeah. It was one of those things that I, I, you know, I'm a geek, way back geek. I'm a psychic geek. That's me. I love all things technology. I'm not great with all technologies, but um, I really love it. So if I can find, I was looking for something that coordinated with my energy feelings, what I had coming in. I knew it was coming just needed to find it. Then I decided to start sharing it like over the last year. And I was really shocked that people really were interested in this because it wasn't just me going, Hey, I, we, we have something here. Look. I think that the the marriage between, you know, metaphysical and science is such a beautiful connection. If we can really bridge that because it gives credibility to both areas really. And Mm -hmm. You know, I, I feel like for, I have, I have a friend, a really good friend who's, who is like, kind of like you, like she's, very, she's super cerebral, and like super quick on all the things. And, you know, it's difficult sometimes for people with different brain patterns to feel as spiritual or as like in this process, but it's important to remember that everybody in their different ways is, is, the, is in the same spot in that place. And we bring so much diversity, uniqueness and assistance to each other by being different. Exactly. It's our differences that make it stronger. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And that's why everybody's so different. That's also why we're so far apart. You'll notice like it's hard to find other light workers near you. It's because we're covering the whole world with our energy. So sometimes our differences really help us. It's a wonderful thing. I always think those differences are just lovely. 
I, yeah, I, it's starting to be very clear that they really are. Um, wait, let me make sure I'm not missing a question here. I see some coming in. Um, so Ascension questions are coming in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is lightheadedness part of the Ascension process? Yes, and brain fog where you can't even connect to the word like it. The other day I was doing, I was doing a session with someone and I couldn't get the word ooh in my head. I mean, it's Ascension brain fog. You're rewiring your whole brain. Everything's going together and it's all part of it lightheadedness, dizziness. Yes, it's all of it. <laughs> That's so funny because I feel that same way sometimes where I'm like, why can't I do human words at all? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's happening more and more right now. Also, blurry vision is really big right now. Um, you'll notice it's really tough too. Yeah, and my vision's not good anyway. And you know, thank thank you for reminding me to like ground myself because I was I was telling I was telling you like I've been shorting out all of my electronics. I'm like, please stop. This has helped. We haven't shorted out yet. No, no, exactly. You always need to ground. One day I was in the car with my husband, and you know I hadn't grounded, and I was a little concerned about things, and my energy is rising, and I shorted out the whole car. And he's like, did you ground? I was like, no. And I got out, grounded. He drove the rest of the way and it worked fine. Oh my God. Yeah, it's, it happens. We have to be more responsible. <laughs> we do, we do. Like I can't use Bluetooth. He thought he was so sweet buying me a Bluetooth mouse. It disconnects constantly because of my energy. It doesn't work. God, isn't that yeah. crazy? No, it's part of us. I mean, your energy goes out all around you. And it's stronger now than it's ever been because we're taking these energies in and transmuting them, holding more light. You literally glow. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. If you looked at yourself mm -hmm. from like three years ago, you are have so much more energy and light in you. You're literally glowing. So that's your field. We're lucky any of things work around us. So true. And so true. That's, wow, that's really amazing. But I was what I, the reason I asked you when you started with this is because you said there was a real change in last year. That was what, 20, yeah. 20? August, 2020? August, 2020. August, 2020. So before that, it, there was kind of a consistency. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I have some of those with me. Hold on. This is actually August. I'll share my screen and show this to you. This is August. This is when it went down. And you'll notice, let me zoom in, see if I can zoom in on this. Notice the difference in the blue and the greens. You know how I was talking about those, those white lines that we were yeah. seeing? You don't see them here because it's not as prevalent. It looks it's, smoother. Yeah, it's much smoother and it's much brighter. You can actually see what's going on. And you see all those whites everywhere? Yeah. And then we go down to here, right at the end of August, oh. um, it went down where this stripe, these lines are over the first and the third. It actually went down on the 30th. They replaced it all in. You can see on the 31st there where it like starts duplicating. Hold on, I'll bring it up. See where this repeated line starts? Yeah. That's the copy and paste point. And you see it over here, this copy and paste point. This is where it went down. So it was black through all of this. When they brought it back up, they like to add these beautiful copy paste points to it. When it came back up, see the difference? Hold on, let me pull it in. See that? See the lines? Yeah. I mean, it's it's noticeable and it just got worse and worse as we go. Um, so that was the big thing. It went down and when it came back up, they love, I'm surprised they're not filling that in now. They love to do that copy paste thing when it goes down. Yes, it's yes. almost like they need to fill it in for some reason. Yeah, I don't like, know I mean, why. Leave this here, somebody's gonna get confused. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. But you know, tool flaws happen. Tools go down, they stop working and that's okay. Uh, you're not gonna see it go down for like 12 hours like that. That's usually mean we've shifted timelines or something. But during this last one that we went through, it didn't feel like a shift. Uh, we had those weird pulsating energies. I think it might have took it down. I don't know. Um, you just said a keyword that perked me up. Can we talk about timeline shifting? Oh, sure. We do it all the time. We're always going to a timeline for our greater and higher good. And as a collective, we, we've been doing it a lot lately since December 21st. 
we were on this really interesting timeline where we were just shifting for our greater and higher good. I, normally we shift ourselves. We just automatically shift to our greater and higher good. But now that we're in Ascension, it's happening more as a group. We're doing it together. We're finding the best timelines and you'll feel it. It's that vertigo feeling you get where you can't walk and everything goes wonky. That's the shift. I've, I've definitely like, I feel it recently. I don't, I cannot figure out time anymore. Everybody, all of my people who follow me are like, I just say the wrong dates all the time. I don't know what day it is, but recently there was a day I woke up and I woke up and it was like, it felt like I was in a different life. Like everything felt different. And, you know, we've been talking a lot about relationships because relationships have been going in weird ways. And, you know, a few, just a few days prior, my relationship was pretty rocky and the feelings weren't feeling very great. And like, all of a sudden I woke up and like, you know, my, my partner is like, let's start the day with love. I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> It was so bizarre, but I, I I had that feeling like, wow, I just woke up in a different timeline and I think I've been in it since I woke up. It's just been so interesting. I know the exact day you're talking about. It was like a week or so ago when the energy was so much better. It was so lighter. It was so dense the night before. When we woke up that morning, it was, I swear there were birds singing, people yes. like doing kumbaya together. Yeah, it was so much better. And yeah, I think we've been in that since. It's and all that greater and higher good. Did we have the pulsing after that? Yeah, we've never had this pulsing before. This is brand new. It started this weekend. Okay. Yeah. I think what you're talking about is the timeline shift when that CME was supposed to hit us. Oh, With this massive CME coming for us. One, I've never seen this big. And if you go on to a girl in the universe on Instagram, I, I put up a whole thing about it. It's going to hit us overnight. And, and it was showing the forecast was massive. I mean, a CME, that's a plasma from the sun. Mm -hmm. That could have taken us all out for days. I mean, we get CMEs all the time, but they're little. This was massive. This was like disaster profile massive. I didn't know what was going to, I know, right? But it disappeared. And then I know I did a whole thing. Go to a girl in the universe, go look up CME. Like <laughs> yeah. It was so weird because I, I had it, the whole thing up there going, look at what's coming. And I did a voiceover showing it as it came. The next morning, I'm up waiting for this thing to hit. I go back to the tools. They've reworked the tools and now it doesn't exist. And it's from three days back. So did we shift to save ourselves from that CME? And that's our proof. That was my big thing that day because it should have hit us. And they do predictive models like two or three days earlier, if they would have switched that, it wouldn't have been the two or three days before it. They never switch. They hardly ever change anything, let alone, you can't change a path of a CME. And suddenly there's one coming down later. It was just, it was like our proof of a timeline shift. Yeah. Or like intervention. On yeah, definitely. Level. Like, Wow. But I mean, we've all been feeling these, like we've been feeling the, the shifts and like where you're like bopping along on one timeline and then like one thing happens and all of a sudden everything is different. And you're like, how, <laughs> how could this have happened? But it does like if, if you like keep following it and like, you know, keep feeling what's happening, it does, it does align with whatever feels highest for you. It does, it is, that is mm -hmm. as much as, you know, our human selves are like. Um, yeah. And you know, there's a whole team. We have a whole spiritual crew around us that are making this happen for everybody. It's not just us doing it. You know, we are doing it because we're ascended masters. We just don't remember, but we have teams of amazing people around each and every one of us that are working together to make this happen for all of us. And we've been sped up over the last month. It was going at a certain pace. Now we're on the Audubon. Now we're like pushing forward. Like 2021 is the year we're supposed to get our memories back now. And it was before four years out. Now it's two years out. And that's it's like, like that gives me almost like, ooh, because it's, yeah. like, it's so soon. It's, it's so soon. Like it, it's just right around the corner. We're in it. I mean, there's no like going back. This is like going to start getting rough with all these earth changes. 
the volcanoes and the earthquakes are going to start coming together. And it's going to be a crazy time. But just remember, that's what we're here for. We're here to do this. And it's a show out there. Do you feel... Um, because I know like right now looking at the astrology we're you know, we're deep in Pisces energy and that's very watery, but I keep feeling like once we click into spring equinox and we hit airy season on the 21st, it feels like, like just, I can see it over there as this like big shift. Do yeah. There's that? something big on the 21st of June, something massive coming in. It's always those times are always massive for us, but we, we don't have any time for it not to be big at this point. No. I mean, we're going through it. It's just going to get stronger and stranger until we're on the other side. People always say, when is this ending? When we're on the other side of it all. Yeah. When you remember who you are, I mean, because we're in it now. You're here for the big stuff. Yeah. If you're here, yeah. this is it. Well, and we're coming up to that time, I think next week where like, you're going to like start seeing everybody's memes or posts saying like, okay, this day last year, we didn't know our lives were going to change forever. And I've been seeing those posts and I, I don't ever comment on anything like that, but I see them and I'm like, but would you want to go back? Like, no, 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 no. And there isn't a back. There's only a forward. Yeah. You know, I mean, all time is relevant now. And our, like you were saying, our time is changing. It's not, time only works here. The rest of the universe doesn't have a time like we do. So we're, we're changing, our time is changing and you'll start noticing that. Some really cool things you can do to notice the time change. Like you can set and still yourself and allow your faucet to just drip slowly, make it consistent. You don't want it running and count it and feel like you've been there like five minutes and you're just concentrating on that drip of that faucet. And in your feelings, you know, don't watch a clock. Try to see if it's been five minutes, you'll be amazed at how it's been like 45. Whoa. Because time is different now. It's not fluid. It's moving so differently. Um, that's why like you go through a day and you're like, I can't believe that was just this morning that you did this and this and this. Because time is different. It's stretching, it is stretching. and fluxing. Like uh, these days, it's hard to even make plans in advance because I don't know who I'm going to be on that day. <laughs> and if that person can interact with humans or even, you know, we're doing this right now at 11 o'clock. I, I know by 6 p.m. it'll feel like this happened a very long time ago. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. That's exactly right. It's like you have like a week and a day, it almost feels like. Yes. And, we're and that <laughs> how do we know that's not really happening? Because you notice our, our need for sleep is changing too. Yeah. We don't need sleep like we used to. I mean, we're, we're okay on four or five hours now. Used to be eight standard. Oh, that's so interesting. Oh, and you know what? Let's clarify that. So you were talking about Ju June 21st? Yeah, June 21st or something massive. Do you feel something for this one, for the March 21st? No, I have, I've been told by my guides to be home on March 26th. Oh my God. Okay. So um, why? No, I mean, okay. So I'm just going to say this because I can't, I'm, I, I must need to say it. I have not, um, I do channeling, but I don't publicly channel everything. Um, but that date came up in a private, me private channeling as exactly that, like just, let it do and don't be anywhere nowhere near capitals like yeah be home be and i always tell my clients to have like three days worth of food i'm not saying you're going to need that but just always have it in case of yes because you want to be comfortable if electricity goes out or whatever happens because i have no idea last time they told me it was february 23rd i wanted to, and they kept showing me godzilla it was massive energies that hit us, like kicked our butts. So a lot of times I think it's something like that. Now they're showing me buildings falling, but it's like toys, like tinker toys kind of thing. So I don't know. It's, it, it, it's, this, it's a very similar thing to what I saw. It, it like was very, it was very much like some sort of thing happening that a building is involved and yeah. just chaos, like chaos, like chaos. Drop type of energy. 
but it's something that's already in play. And, you know, we know better than to be like, I, I just, I never feel comfortable with the fortune telling aspect of this because no. I just don't know, like today I might be feeling this, you might be feeling this. And then we have seven timeline hops and that's no longer what we're in trajectory for. But, you know, I think that whatever it is, it, it is a big energy coming through at the end of the month. Yeah. And just always remember, you're always safe. You're a light worker. You're always protected. And I never really worry about anything because we're fine. Whatever's happening is meant to happen. It's already happened. We're just catching up to it. Mm. So, and what happens in this realm is a lot of show. It's not a lot of reality. So what we see might not be what is actually there. So just take it with a grain of salt. If it resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Just yeah. Just be careful. Don't freak out. <laughs> There's no reason to freak out because fear isn't of our la of our world. You know, you're you're a fragment of source. Why would you be afraid of anything? What are you fearful of yourself? I mean, you're amazing. So there's nothing to be fearful of. Just yeah, exactly. you. like that fear is what keeps us from understanding how big we are and yeah. how powerful we are. It's yeah, yeah. It keeps fear. your energy small. Yeah. It's super effective. And it's like, once you start realizing that like, oh, all of these systems don't make any logical sense for me as a person, mm -hmm. it's like, oh. No, and you don't live in the 3D realm. Once you start ascending, you're not of the 3D realm. So you can watch it happen in the 3D realm and not be affected by it. And that's important to remember. Just like you watch a movie on TV, it doesn't mean it's happening outside. It's on your television. You're not a part of it, just like you're not a part of the 3D realm, unless you allow yourself, your energy to go down into it. That Thank you for saying that, because I feel like we need that um, reminder so much, because I think for a lot of us, we've been trained since birth that in order to be an empathetic, good person, you actually do have to lower yourself into the lowest common vibration and feel those things and feel really bad about everything all the time, because otherwise you're not being a good person. You're not being, you know, you're not um, being empathetic and having an open heart. But, you know, I've been feeling that too, like where it's like, I see this and it's not like I don't care. But yeah, no, you, like you can I'm care. I, I care deeply, but like, I don't see it as like, I'm in it. Yeah, you're disconnected from it completely, which is exactly what you should be. You know, we can send love and light to it and we can send energy to help everyone. Mm -hmm. You don't have to live there to do that. Oof. You know, it's, it's a huge reminder that I think we all need need to hear because nobody wants to be a person who's like dissociating from quote unquote reality, you know, and all that conditioning is moving away. And as we're all kind of collectively feeling like, yeah, I, I'm observing this, but I, it doesn't have to wreck me. It doesn't, I don't right. need a sponge for everybody's, you know, energy that's moving and, and causing chaos. I don't have to be in chaos. Exactly. You don't want to be in chaos at all. Chaos is of the 3D realm and you are not of the 3D realm. Mm -hmm. So I often say, you know, you can see all the stuff happening on the television. You shouldn't, I don't watch mainstream TV though. Um, but when you shut your, your door to your house and you turn the music on, do you feel it in your home? Has it really affected you unless you allow it to come in and affect you? Oof. Because that's how they get you. They get your energy and you're a light worker. So your energy is about four times stronger than the average person. So if you're sending your attention there, your energy flows where your attention goes. So if you're sending it there, you're sending like four times more powerful energy. And that's what they need to build that chaos. Do you want to build the chaos? No, you want to build the happiness. Send your attention to something that will help the happiness in the world. Send the energy to people that need it like you know whatever you can do to make it better for other people that's what helps i feel yeah, i love that and it, i just i feel like i just i need the reminder a lot because it's it's a lot it's just you know doing your own life and also you know as as a person like we're doing this as as our 
life vocation. I, I don't even want to use the word work yeah. anymore because that doesn't feel right. Wow. <laughs> but, you know, you're we're, we did we decided we wanted to come here and be on the front lines to help and to hold hands and guide, right? And we're all service. Here. Yeah. Service. And but we're also living our own lives and you know dealing with family stuff and all of the traumas coming up for us that we have to process. And so sometimes it does get overwhelming and like it's so nice to know that we can collectively take care of each other like that and remind each other like you came here for this it's gonna be all right like you're doing it you're doing it it's just so helpful well we are doing it and it is hard it's hard for all of us you know we have our faces out there so i can't tell you how many crazies come i don't want to say crazies, but how many people call me crazy every day yeah. um and that happens and that's okay because that's not my baggage. That's someone else's baggage. I think that's really important too, to remember if someone doesn't resonate with your path, that's their path, yeah. not yours. Yeah. So it's okay to send them love and light and allow it because you're amazing and you're doing what you need to do. So just stay on your path and, and let it happen. And I think that too, like that brings to mind the difference between being a helper and thinking you need to fix people and make them think what you think, because those are yeah. different things. Well, that's part of the ascension path. We start out going, I need to tell everyone about this amazing stuff. And then you feel like you need to shake them. Why aren't you listening? They literally don't have the eyes to see or the ears to hear, no matter how many times you told them. But then you figure that out on your path. You know, As you go, you realize that and then become more of the observer and realize you're helping people more by allowing them to have their path and not forcing yours on it. You know, I mean, it's hard because we love our family and we love our friends, but you realize they have free will to believe whatever they need to believe. But yeah, it's hard. It's hard, but you know, I've never had an art, like back when I used to argue with people, <laughs> um, I've never had an argument with anybody where it was like, oh, now that I've told you this, you've changed your mind. Never. Uh-uh. They don't get it. It's not even a thing that happens in any way, shape, or form. It's just two egos just going at each other. <laughs> exactly. 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 But you're really coming from a place of love. You really are amazed by this and really want to help save. You think you're saving your family when really they just think you've drank the Kool-Aid or something. Yeah. You know, you need some serious psychiatric help. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Talking to angels. <laughs> yeah, and everything else, right? Basically. <laughs> um, but Sherry, before we like start wrapping up, will you tell us the services you offer? Because I know you do like one-on-one -on -one stuff, right? Sure. Yeah, I do sessions all afternoon, and it's so hard with these energies because we're working together, and I can be setting with you, and you're like, "Oh, I feel these energies coming in." Do you feel them? Um, yeah, I offer personal sessions and you can get me through a girl in the universe. I'm really enjoying right now. I'm doing intuitive sessions with people where I'm helping you bring your superpowers on. Like a lot of people don't realize they're already coming online and there's so much they can do. And literally we set together, we pull your guides in and we bring your guides in so you can meet them. And we talk about what's happening there. And then I talk with you and we figure out some of the things you think think you want to learn how to do because if you are pulled to something that you think you want to learn how to do it's pretty much what you can do it's like it's open in your head already and then I give you an assignment to go out and do it for like a month and then you come back the next month and we work on that and it's so much fun I also do beyond quantum healing so where we bring you in and I talk with your higher self and but that's all you I put you under and you have an adventure with your higher self that is so much fun right now because everybody's higher self just pops right in and they're talking about new earth and getting so much information. That's really fun too. I also do a full energy healing. When I connect you energetically, I can see the energy in your body and where it's trapped. And I also feel your pain. So like if I'm setting with you connected, I can feel the pain in your body and I work through it and release that so i have several different types of sessions you can come in and do that's awesome so guys if you're listening to this on the podcast you'll find a link to all of sherry's stuff in there it's a girl in the universe.com yep i'll put it all there for them to easily access and is there anything else before we close up that you want that we pop over to my instagram if you don't follow me on instagram it's a girl in the universe 
It's at a girl in the universe underscore between the words and hang out. I have so many amazing people on my page. I mean, they're amazing. They really are. They are so helpful and loving and will answer questions with you and talk with you. I have, I'm just so blessed that they're there. Well, it's really a testament to the energy you've created in that foundation of your little corner of the internet. You Thank know? you. That's really sweet. I'm yeah. also on Facebook at a girl, facebook.com slash a girl in the universe. Same kind of people. I've noticed Facebook's a little older and Instagram's a little younger, but they're all super wonderful. So yeah. it's a place, a safe place where you can be you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's, I think it's worth talking just briefly about this because it's something I've, I've mentioned to people before because I've had so many people tell me, even warn me, okay, don't create a community on Facebook. Don't, you know, people are mean. They're going to tear you down. This is going to happen. They're you know, horrible trolls, da, 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 da. And I have observed this and I've noticed that, you know, as I've been very cognizant of who I follow and where and where I put my energy and even setting an intention for myself as a, having an online presence, people like you are always going to attract the best the internet has to offer because you are coming so. at it from that pure loving space. So, you know, the, the trolls don't love pure loving space, so they're not going to hang too long. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was a little worried about you too, because as you know, I don't like to do lives. I don't like to talk live. And I was worried about doing YouTube and my guides are like, you've got to do YouTube. So I did. And again, they're amazing on YouTube. I've got amazing people there too. So yeah, and you're yeah, so good totally. on video. I'm like, it's so wonderful. I'm I was so delighted and surprised that we got to do video. So I'm very grateful to you for doing this today. Uh, it's fine. I just thought we were doing a podcast. I was excited to put my little headphones on and do the podcast. Yeah, that's fine. That's me and my technology, and you know, being all over the place. At some point, it'll evolve into something else. <laughs> it always does. It starts here and becomes your own beautiful ball of you. But thank you so much. And like I said, guys, I'll put all of her information in the in the all the spaces you can find and you can reach out and connect and definitely follow her on Instagram because Instagram is primo information. I, I check it every single day. So thank you again, Sherry. It's lovely being here. Thanks for having me.